This is Oblivion Angel Desu AC, and I'm going to teach you how to catch the coelacanth on Animal Crossing City Folk for Wii. In order for me to find my own coelacanth, I did what many of you are probably going to do when you're watching my video. I searched everywhere on YouTube and on forums on Wikipedia for tutorials on how to catch the coelacanth, but I couldn't find any. Mainly, all the videos I've seen are about how people actually catch their coelacanths, as in where they, when they catch them. So I'm making this video to help you all out as to know exactly how you need to go about catching your coelacanth, the time you need to hunt, and what you exactly are looking for. I'm sorry I don't have any footage of me catching the coelacanth myself because my camera is a piece of crap and I don't have a tripod so there's nowhere for me to really put it. And my camera only takes 30 second videos with no audio so I think it'd be better if I showed you some pictures. Now, the first thing you need to be sure of when you're catching your coelacanth, and I cannot stress this enough, is that you have to make sure there's some sort of precipitation going on in your town, which would mean rain or snow. You can't, it doesn't really matter what kind of rain it is, it could be a thunderstorm, it could be just a regular rainfall, but I caught my coelacanth during a rainfall, a thunderstorm, but I believe the best time for you to hunt would be on Christmas Eve when it's guaranteed to have precipitation after 4 p.m. of snow. Which brings me to the next important topic about catching your coelacanth. So, there's a schedule for when you catch your fish. Like, say for chance, while I'm looking at the wiki right now, a catfish, you have to catch it through May through October between 4 p.m. and 9 a.m. The coelacanth does have a restriction on time, but you could catch it all year long but you have to catch it at the time between 4 p.m. and 9 a.m. Also, another helpful tip about when you catch your coelacanth is that you should always know what size of fish you're looking for because I got tricked so many times with moray eels and, unfortunately, sea bass. Basically, what you're looking for, well, let me explain this to you. As you've all probably seen while you're hunting for fish, that there are many different sizes of fish. Like, for instance, I believe there are five, or no, there are six different types of fish shadows you look for. There's the tiny, the small, medium, large, huge, and huge with fin. Now, the type of fish shadow you're going for when you're looking for a coelacanth would be huge, not large, not, let's see. The sea bass is a large fish. You want a fish that's larger than a sea bass, but no fin, like a shark or an ocean sunfish. You don't want that. You just want the regular huge fish. There aren't many huge fish in the ocean, fortunately, but when you're looking for a huge fish, try to imagine it about the size of a Napoleon fish, I want to say. The big blue one with the giant bump on its head. That works. As a model, you could also, there's the tuna fish, I believe. The tuna is also the same size. It's a huge size. So if you really don't know exactly what size huge should be classified as, imagine the sea bass, but a little thinner and a bit longer. And that's basically all the know-how you'll need in order to catch a coelacanth. But there's one thing I want to warn you people about is that don't give up, no matter how long it takes. For some people, it could take two minutes. For someone else, it could take about two hours. For me, because Animal Crossing, I pretty much get more air outdoors on Animal Crossing than I do in my real life. And I spent six hours straight catching, well, not catching it, but searching for my coelacanth, and I finally found one outside of my house. So I was a happy camper, as you could tell. <laughs> now, I mainly have pictures of what happened after I got my coelacanth. So basically, since I want to fill my museum, that's where I bought my coelacanth. But they are worth 15,000 bells. So if you're broke, I suggest possibly, if you want a coelacanth in your museum, put the first one there. Because once you catch the first one, you pretty much get the know-how of what it takes to catch one. And go ahead and catch more if you want to. But I caught mine in mid-September. So 
sharks were still out. And while I was looking for the daily cats, I found a bunch of sharks. Sharks, hammerheads, ocean sunfish. I found them all. And I got rich. I got back a hundred be- a hundred thousand bells afterwards. So I was happy. Now, basically when you take your coelacanth in the museum, you give it to Blathers and he'll go on about like, Whoa, this is amazing. I can't believe you found a coelacanth. This fish has been known to the world since its dinosaurs. Perhaps it's a true master of the sea. And when you want to find it in your museum, obviously you go into the fish exhibit, where you'll find your coelacanth. I actually found it kind of disappointing that it's hid away the way it is. It faces you when you look at it, so it's kind of looking just straight forward. And it's not quite at the halfway point through the tank, but it's a little bit to the right from the halfway point. In my picture here, you can't see the light where it shows the halfway point. So it's just a bit beyond that light where it says, oh, you're halfway past the tank. And another thing is, when you check your fish journal, the coelacanth is going to be the last fish listed next to the ray, ocean sunfish, hammerhead shark, shark, and then there's the coelacanth. Its description says, called living fossils, these can grow as big as people. And that's about it for this video. So I'm going to wrap it up here, and I'll see you guys later with another video.